Hi, it's Dave Parody of FinancialViz.com and ThinkOutsideTheSlide.com. I want to share with you a makeover of a recent visual. Now, this isn't, of course, the, their actual numbers, but this is a very typical type of visual I encounter in my customized training programs where it's a top, I call this a top five, bottom five visual. Where we're trying to show the top performing and the bottom performing in this particular category. And this is the visual they used where it's a standard bar chart, very easy to create. Here's the data table here. We create the standard bar chart. And then to show people, well, these are the top and these are the bottom, we added text boxes there. And we have our title. So it certainly is an accurate visual, but I think we can make this better. I think we can make it communicate the message more clearly to our audience. So here's my makeover. And let me point out some of the things I did here so that you see how you could apply these ideas to the types of visuals you have to create in your presentation. So the first thing I did is I created a dual level category label. That's this over here on the slide where I have top five and then I list the cities. And that is created in the data table uh, here in these two columns where um, it has the, the major and then the minor, that's what they refer to it as. And the nice thing about this with column and bar charts in Excel is it automatically creates this look for you. And it's it, it organizes groups. So that's where this is a really effective technique is to use this dual level category labels within column and bar charts. Second thing I did, you notice I've split the data into two data series, a top data series and a bottom ser data series. Now I did that because it allows me to format each of those series individually. And so you notice I've got the different colors here, the green and the orange, to indicate the top and bottom five. This is one of the principles I teach in my courses, is to use multiple data series so you can format each data series individually. And it makes formatting, it makes creating your charts and reusing them, updating them so much easier. Next thing I did to make it really clear that there's a difference between top and bottom is I added this blank row. So you notice there's a blank row in the chart data table here. That's what creates this blank row. It gives us that visual separation to let people know, hey, there's, there's information here that we're not showing. We're just focusing on top and bottom. Because again, this is a message of ranking. In a message of ranking, you're wanting to focus on just those values that are most important that the audience takes a look at. I've added data labels. The original just had the bars and you have to go down to the bottom to figure out, okay, what's that value? I added them in. When we are comparing values to each other, and that's what we do in a bar chart or a column chart, adding those values in helps the viewer to know what those values are, and they can make some conclusions from those values. If you make them guess, it's much harder, and they might not come to the conclusion you want them to. And then the final thing I did is I added those colors into the chart title. So I selected this particular text for highest and lowest, and I changed the color of those fonts. Why? Because that reinforces the colors I'm using, the distinguishing between the top five and the bottom five. So whenever you're looking to create one of these top five, bottom five messages in your presentation, use some of the ideas I've just shared with you in this makeover to create a visual that communicates more clearly to your audience. See, these are the types of things that I share with the groups that I conduct customized training programs for, where in my financial viz program, we talk about, first of all, what visual should we use for the message? So it's important to select the right visual first, and then how do we create that visual? So it communicates clearly. And how do we do it in the tool we're using, Excel and PowerPoint? If, that, if that's of interest to you, just get in touch with me. Go to my website at financialviz.com, check out the courses there, and then we can set up a customized program for your staff.